Guess I better get out there and see what's left of the farm. <sighs> oh, hey. How y'all doing? Y'all remember me? Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself anyway. My name's Mr. Blue. Uh, this is Mr. Blue Farms, but this is David Blue. Uh, Tommy Miller Blue here, aka Tommy Miller, Mr. Mr. the original Mr. Blue, uh, is taking over his brother's farm, which is my brother, David Blue. Folks, uh, as you can just heard, the auctioneer selling the last bit of machinery here. Well, th this is what we have left here. We have two of the Massey Ferguson tractors. Let's see, we got the 5610, and we got the 77, what, 19 over here. If I get down off the hood, yeah, 77, 19. And a 7347S Massey Ferguson combine. As you can see, my brother was into Massey Ferguson equipment. Uh, we got the green head, we got the corn head, we got a trailer, a cultivator, planter, and a fertilized box that's left. I figured I need to keep this much, and I went ahead and let them sell all the other equipment. And I did keep the farm and what fields he owned. Uh, I'll get to that here in just a minute, but I just want to show you around real quick. We're here on No Creek Farms. That's what he called it. Uh, and I guess we're going to keep calling it that. But uh, I, as you know, I'm Mr. Blue. And for y'all that don't know me, it's AKA Tommy Miller. Uh, we got a cow pasture out there where it looks. There's a cow barn. Um, there's just, just going around some of the buildings. Uh, we got one here. A lot of storage here. There's our diesel fuel. Here's look like the main barn. And uh, that was his house. So I guess I'll be staying here. Uh, he only had three grain tanks. Um, they sold the auger. It wasn't very good condition. So I'm going to buy another one. Uh, here's the other side of that barn. Here's the cow shed. Try to get some cows going there. And uh, like I said, I only got three grain tanks. I don't know what size they are right yet. This part of our other main big work for combine stuff. We got a light switch here. Let's see if I can get. Yeah, let's see. Got lights in here, so it's be good working on things. Um, take a look around the house. There's a good old American flag right there. Um, so yeah, just plain chain. But uh, I'm gonna get some of this equipment inside parked, and uh, see what we need to do about planting our fields. Um. So give me a few minutes, I'm going to park his stuff, and I'll be right back, and we'll go over the details of how much money I earned off the auction, and what kind of debt we're in from his bills, and we will go for planting and stuff. So be right back, folks, as soon as I park some of this stuff. Alright, folks, I am back, and uh, as you can see up here, um, well... Let me see down here. I was working on this ridge marker here. It was uh, had a loose blade and stuff, but I got that fixed. But anyway, the auction is gone. Uh, 
everything sold that needs to be sold, we just left with the, the planner and uh, 7719, which I, I told you that here a little bit ago, but I did go to town and get a few things because the lawyer said, well, how about the grain he's got? How much grain does he have? And he's like, well, I don't know. So, uh, my brother David, uh, the other Mr. Blue, he, uh, didn't have very much grain in here. So, I had to go and buy this auger here, Westfield. It's a W137I, I believe, or, or 71, 71 looks like. But uh, we got to have that to shoot it up there. Well, as you can see, we got this in here. And yes, I did go buy the C800 two wheel drive with the uh, farm team. Uh, I did have another one. I went ahead and let uh, the people at the store to take it on back. And it was this one right over here. As you can see, we got grain in here and this thing broke already. So I'm taking it back. It's got about a thousand liters in there, around about. But it's the Batco. Batco. Which this is off of Upper Mississippi River Farms. One they use for their grain tanks on that map. So maybe that's why it's not working. Because it won't strip right or whatever it's called on this map. And also we had to have this one right here. And I'm not even going to pronounce that. But it's TL-10-1200. With a gasoline motor on it that has a belt drive boiler auger. Um, so we use that over here where I'm using this one. But you can use this big one, but that little one there works a lot better. But this one here, if you want to get the extra reach, it'll come out here for like semi trucks and stuff so you won't have to get all bothered in here. So anyway, other than that, the auction brought me, um, I guess you can say $807,963 from the auction. Uh, we normally start out this map, folks. You know, I'm, I'm making some of this stuff up so it would be realistic. Kind of, you know. But, uh, um, what we do, we start out with 19000 And uh, the equipment that you saw out there is what we start with. But anyway, we, a little bit more than that because I bought the tractor and these uh, conveyor belts. Like I said, I bought the backhoe long tall conveyor and I could not get it to work um, I got it to work one time and it sent stuff up but uh yeah I just it took a while to get it but anyway a uh, 7800 John Deere I bought it from the store start this baby up get a pretty good deal on it looks pretty nice we do have options of uh, dual wheels on the back take a look on the inside here pretty nice folks I, I drove a uh, 8200 that was kind of something like this but the gear shift was different and we do have an option for a front loader on this thing that's a uh, wrong map let's go in here and take a look real quick and um we also we got a bunch of john deere stuff now we can choose from we got the 4620 the 7520 the 7020 uh, the 30 series 40 series and a couple of these extras so we may be getting some of them i know we are going to be getting another tractor it'll be this in here the 4960 series um, let's see, where's the, where's, there it is, 7800, I paid 40000 for it, plus the augers and stuff, um, so yeah, uh, let's see, that's, that's all of them that way, we got the 78, four wheel drive, hundred. Uh, I mean, 7800 with the four wheel drive, and then we got the 4760 here, that looks pretty decent. 
Well, folks, we, you know, we, we got all kind of different stuff here. So, uh, I'm going to be done putting the uh, stuff back in here. So, we're going to fold this bad boy. What? Y'all see that? Okay, the grain didn't disappear. Let's see. I'll fold this thing up. There we go. I'll pull it out some because we don't want to set it down on it. And the triggers for these are at the very top instead of the little side door towards the bottom of the lid there. So that's where I was making my mistake at first. I realized it. And now we're doing better. What I like about this and it goes down. It's about the same height going down but that, that yellow one right over there just seems like it does a better 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 job than this one uh, we gotta get some KW wagons also now one thing I did learn about this okay our dealerships way up here okay but our stuff appears down here right, right down in here somewhere right in here our stuff appears when we buy something from the store it appears here so at least it's a little bit better instead of having to go all the way up here to get it but still uh, we own fields one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so that's what eleven fields we own so it's a pretty good start um, as you can see here Everything has been cultivated, but nothing's planted. Nothing's planted. Uh, everything needs to be plowed. So I do have a uh, thing there. And also, uh, plant growth is off. Plant withering is on. Uh, periodic clown is on. And fertilizer is three states. Over here, engine start is off. I cannot change these, as you can see, it's just like Sinetletons, and um, well, I'll talk about Sinetletons when we get on that map, but yeah, uh, all we got is cows, we don't have pigs or sheep, so that's going to be interesting, uh, we got a loan to pay off at 75000 so I'm going to go ahead and pay that back now. Two clicks, okay. Loan is zero. So, okay. Um, good. We got some more soybeans in there to gotta get out. We're gonna sell these soybeans. We're gonna buy some equipment. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Yeah, we're gonna go over here, start this other tractor up, and get these soybeans out. You have to leave the tractor on it for some reason. Uh, we do have a spout or a hopper, as they call it here. Um, we just do this and change it to soybeans. Go down and start just like a regular one. You see there, and then she goes out. That's all there is to it. And you go back. And you see soybeans are gone. But folks, we only have. One thing about it, you don't have to start the tractor up with that. Auger takes care of itself. But, folks, I don't know what to do about getting those beans out of there. I really don't. So, I'm going to probably keep the two long augers. If not, I'll take that and over back and get another west field. Uh, forgot I got to start the truck. Wow, this really ain't enough beans to take. It, it, it's really not. Um, but I like to get everything out of the hoppers. And which way I need to go? I need to go down here and back that way. Okay. Let's just go ahead and take a trip to the store. 
Oh, I just missed the drive. That way is the way we go down to uh, pick up our equipment. So, uh, yeah, right, this way will take us to the store and also uh, give us a, a look of the map a little bit. I don't want to pull this baby too fast. And I don't know how much this truck will take. But uh, just in case y'all didn't catch the beginning or don't remember the beginning, uh, Mr. Blue uh, passed away, which is uh, David Blue, my brother. Um, we auctioned off all the most of the equipment. I kept what I thought was new. Um, I did come from Goldcrest Valley, so I'm pretty used to farming. So I hope y'all sit back and enjoy. Uh, this map is kind of like uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley. You know, we got the ditches and that funny looking grass. Whoa, get back over here. Uh, we got all trees like that right there. And uh, n no firs that I have seen yet. So it's kind of realistic. I do not know where No Creek Farms is originated from. I'm pretty sure it's up north towards Ohio or you know the upper part of Mississippi River or something like that. But um, as we go on up from here, well, we got one big field to our left, as you can see there, and then two fields over this way. And as you can check out, 25 is one major big field. That goes a long ways down. So I, I bet it costs a pretty penny. But if we do buy any more fields, which we probably won't for a while, we'll probably go ahead and do 24 and then 16 down over. Alright, we are here at the, the store here. And right, whoop, right there. Ah, come on now. Soil service. I ain't gonna pronounce that. Missouri, but if y'all can Google that, you probably got an idea where the map's based on. So let's go ahead and sell this. I don't know if it had scales or not. I don't think we got scales. Uh, fertilized seed and cows you can buy from. Alright, not going to bring much. 2561 dollars, alright. Not bad. Alright. Yeah, I better shut it off. Who is flying? I'm pretty sure these are fertilizing seed tanks. That's probably fertilizing that seeds. I don't know what that is. Maybe milk. But anyway, look at all these Betsy's in here. Nah, they look kind of stiff, don't they? Oh, we got an open door here. Let's go in here and check around. Oh, we're at the bidding site, uh, auctioneer place. Okay, we're going to have to come up here on auction day and pick us up some cows. Moo, moo. Mah. Mah. Oh, what am I getting on? Oh, that's concrete. Okay, well, I guess that's enough. Can we go up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Eh, eh. Trying to get home. Oh, these cows. Okay, we go. Ah, get, get, get off that. Get off that. And I get. Oh, I'm hung. I can't fall down. There we go. Let's get out of here, folks. Let's, let's get out of here before I get hung up. Anyway, I'm going to pull around here. 
Get my receipt and stuff. So we got 735,000. We're going to need a, another planter, folks, or a tractor or two. And um, I actually think about trading this truck in, too. Oh, we'll see about that. Let's go in here. I'm going to leave it running. No, maybe nobody will get it. Let's go around this way. Can I get to the office this way? I can't get to the... There is no office. Where is everybody? I guess I don't really need my receipt. It did say automatically drafted. Oh, wait. Here's the door. I won't open. Eh. Oh, well. It said automatically drafted. Uh, let me look right here real quick. We need to get us a tractor, folks. Uh, first we need a planter. Let's go to the planters first. Um, there's a new one that I downloaded. I don't know how good it is. I thought about getting, oh, I just passed it. Well, that's all planters there. We got a, a Ken's 3600 version 1. Uh, you can get fertilized tanks on it or no fertilized tanks. So, we need a fertilize. So I'm going to go ahead and get one with the fertilized tanks on it. I guess I need, yeah, for 103,000. And I forgot to see how many meters that was. Uh, let's see, let's back out one. Uh, okay, it does all of this. I don't know what this is really. I know it doesn't do manure. So I think all those is. Really don't know folks. But wheat, barley. Uh, canola. Sunflowers. Beans. And probably corn if it does these two. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, how much horsepower does it need to pull this machine? Oh. That's what I was wondering. I don't say. I think a 4960 would pull it. I've been wanting that tractor for a long, 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 long time. So, uh, should be this one right here. Let's just check it out, folks. Let's see what we get. Yeah, right there. 4960. Uh, twin wheels, basic front axle, front wheel fenders. Let's go with the wheel fenders. Mine didn't have it. It was just basic, but well, fenders can help keep mud off of it. 88,000, so let's try it. Uh, we do need a plow and a cultivator. And, uh... Not bad. Let's see. What is this? In? To forty nine fifty five. Yeah, oh, we'll we'll get out of that. Let's see. Let's see what kind of plows we can get real quick. Let's see what all they have here. I got those. Now one of these, 85 horsepower, 85 horsepower, and 400 horsepower. I don't know what's the difference in them. Oh, that's a two meter. Wow, only two meters? Really? That is 400 horsepower, and that is 650 horsepower, and that's 375. That is 225. Well, 4.8 and 5.7. 
Hmm. And that is a 10.2 meter. Let's go with, uh, check out these cultivators. Now that's what we had on Senelitans. It's a 12 meter and it's a uh, Sunfire disc that plows and cultivates. Why don't we have a, where's our, do we have a disc? 350 horsepower. Ninety-five thousand. Sorry, folks, this is taking so long. I just want to make sure I get the right deal. Uh, Ninety-five, fifteen thousand. Ninety-five thousand. I'll tell you what. We're gonna get. Let's go ahead and get this plow here. Main color, and we'll go with green. Let's go with green. Wim's black. Bye. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then we need a cultivator. I think we're going to go with that big green one. So we can get this in 26,000. That's 8 meters. Uh, let's go with that. And bye. Yes. Okay. Um, I know we can't afford a sprayer right now, but, uh, ooh, three, about four, four hundred thousand altogether. Uh, that's, that's too steep in our pockets right there. Um, we do have that one. I think we need to chill and just get another tractor and probably be done with it. I'm going to probably get a AR and uh, go with it. And let's see here. Front weight, without weight, front hydraulic. Let's go with front hydraulic. The biggest motor. Uh, 22, 9, 30 triples, 30 all doors, 30 real doors. Um, Green Star with Fender. That's going to hurt us right here. That's all the spinning we're going to do. Because the rest of it's going to be for seeds and fertilizer. And we got to see what kind of seeds and fertilizer. You know, I like to get that little. There's a 7R Terra. Oh Lord, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff to that. Let's see, one fifty nine, one twenty two, two twenty two, one fifty nine and two twenty two. That's one forty five. We need a little small front loader tractor, but. I don't know. At one we got is a front loader. We might go with uh, one of these others. Where's that little small C800 I saw? I probably overlooked it. Uh, right there it is. How much horsepower would it be with the max? 175 we might get that for when we do cows but we need to get back and uh which i'm gonna hop on over there's our ar and we're gonna put that on the big disc
or not this, our big plow here. And what we got little strips like this that we can do our grass and stuff on. Uh, so that, that's going to be one plus. Oh, keep forgetting to shut them off. Ah, look at there. You even put Mr. Blue Farms on it for me. Yay! Oh, here's our baby. 4960, folks. That's what I used to drive. That's what I used to drive. I had weights on mine, though. Let's go over here. Steps are the same. Oh, it brings back so much memories. Gears are different. Mine only had one red lever right there. The, the, uh, everything else is the same, except for the two red knob levers. Start her up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a pretty good size planter right there. Let's go ahead and hook up to it. Now, I don't know how many days I really got to plant. I know I need to get started today. Let's see here. Uh, un, let's see. Unfold be A. Looks like I got today and tomorrow. Then it's going to be raining. Go back here and see what it's doing. Okay. Oh, I even got the ridge markers. All right. Pretty good whiff. I just hope this tractor can pull it. Let's see what kind of we set on sunflowers. Uh, sorry beans, corn. All right, sugar beets, sunflowers. What? Okay, well. They'll plant beans, that's good. We're going to have to use the udden to plant wheat and barley. Oh, lordy. It's another tractor for a piece of equipment. One thing about our farm shop is right over there. So I'll probably do a follow me. I'll leave her running real quick. Yeah, right over here are the bushes. I wonder if I can hook this up to the front of this tractor and carry it. I see how much muscles you got, Adar. Whoa, pretty good size ditch right there. Is it going to lift it up off the ground? Ooh, sunk our baby in a little bit, didn't it? I might be able to get it. Alright, this is... We're going to be close. We're going to watch our ditches. Alright, I want to do the follow me. About 35 back behind. Alright, folks. Um, You know what? I do not know where the... They're going to shift the seeds and stuff. So let's let's do the seeds real quick. We're really getting closer being out of time. I do want to do check the weights because it's supposed to be a new weight. Okay, I did not highlight it. Okay. That figures. Be all right, though. Um, let's do two pallets of those. I'm gonna do 
one of those. We might have to get a front load. Yep. That's what I was thinking. That's right there behind us. Whoa, this thing don't want to cut too short. Alright, I don't want to take, I don't know if to have to be unfolded or not do this. So I'm going to go ahead and unfold. But uh, folks, next time y'all come on, I'll probably have some of the fields planted. Uh, I'm going to plant some today and some tomorrow. I'll speed time up after I plant a field or two. Okay, it don't take him, so. Uh, I'm running over. It does take those, so. I'll be right over top of it, just about. Okay, I'm going to do a, a dry fertilizer real quick. Do two of them because I know it's going to take it. Okay. Wait, did I? Solid fertilize. That's what I got. That's what that is. And it's taking it as beans. I really don't know how that's going to work, folks. I really don't. I'm going to turn around real quick. Whoa! Okay, we cannot turn sharp whatsoever with this thing. Okay, I don't like that cam camera angle either. No, I got maybe. Y'all did not see that. All right, I'm going to finish filling this up, folks. I know you'll probably want to see this in action, but y'all will see that next time. I'm going to buy some more seeds. And what I'll probably do is go ahead and buy a front-end loader. Get the uh, 8200 down here. Because I, I think it would be better. Let me shut this thing off. Um... Oh, this is already shut off. All right, folks, I will catch y'all next time. Let's get that turned back over. But yeah, I'm, I might come in here and redo the start point of this to where it be at the store down there, or, or closer to the shop one, because this is uh, gonna be a nightmare down here on this hill. But folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I am doing seasons mod. And as you can see, I'm still on day one. Um, I got it on nine days, uh, I believe. Let me check it real quick. I think it's F. Oop, I it out. Uh, that's that. So I need to go back to S and go over. Yeah, I'm on nine days. And, uh, and this is the price of... Uh, stuff so corn I need to sell it in like the summertime on this day here because it's the most for it 
pretty much even with that. And so when you sell corn two times a year, it looks like. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this because what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, plant some today, try to. And tomorrow, this line will be right, right here. And anything blue is what we can plant now as long as we're within these green bars. So uh, they get it planted so we can get ready for the harvest and stuff. So folks, thank you for watching Mr. Blue Farms here on No Creek Farms. Um, yeah, when we'll come back, uh, probably be less money and ready to plant. we got to say somebody needs to plant. If not, we'll take out a loan. Because we still got diesel fuel and all that stuff. Ooh, those things are sharp. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later, folks. Bye.